Recently, it was in the local Colorado news that a treasure worth $2 million was found in the Rocky Mountains. Now that sounds amazing, but it kind of loses its thrill once you read into it. You see, it was buried there by a rich guy about 10 years ago for fun. He wrote a book about it with clues and stuff. I mean, that's okay, I guess, but it's not half as cool as if it were like a pirate treasure from the 1700s. It's just some multi-millionaire with way too much time on his hands. Are you listening, Jeff Bezos? I don't know, it just kind of feels like the reality TV version of Buried Treasure. But I want the real thing, so I'm setting out to find it. And since I'm contractually obligated, I'm bringing... Oh hey, it's camping day. <sighs> yeah, I love camping. Great outdoors, becoming one with nature. Well, oh, the treasure? No, I don't think we'll find any of that. Yeah, I bought a treasure map from a guy behind the Rite Aid. He promised it's legit. I promise, it's legit. So yeah, as long as I don't end up killing myself from being around Rodney too much, I should be rich. Yeah, I like taking pictures of the sky. Once that first like rolls in on Instagram, I feel like I kind of have a purpose. Well, it's been a long two weeks and we still haven't found anything. I want to give up, but the Long John Silver in me is causing me to persevere. He left Ian's house like 30 minutes ago. All right, this looks like a good spot to camp. I don't get why we have to sleep here though. We're like a mile from your house. Could just go back and then meet up in the morning. Because Rodney, it's about the experience, okay? You think I like being out in nature? Gross. No, but right now I'm Indiana Jones and I'm in search of the treasure. Yeah, we tried sleeping for about five minutes last night before Ian decided we should go home. Um, I was supposed to meet him back here this morning, but he's late. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, I didn't actually sleep at home. There's like a 24-hour McDonald's right around the corner, so I just crashed there. Had a couple McFlurries. Can you stop okay. looking at me? Like, don't make eye contact with me. We have a treasure to find. Oh my gosh! It's the treasure! It's right there. Where the map leads. It's right. Found the treasure. Huh? Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. The map just led back to my house. It was a little deceptive, but you gotta do what you gotta do for a pack of smokes. What the hell? Hey, what are you guys doing here? Hey, you sold us a fake map, didn't you? Fake map? What are you talking about? The map I purchased from you behind the CVS leads directly to this log. Wait, you're saying that that map leads to my house? That's absurd. Yeah. It says right here, treasure. Yeah, we were promised gold, jewels, pirate treasure, all the riches we could ever dream of. Treasure? If you guys wanted treasure, I got something for you. I think this will be worth your time. Cut green beans. Deluxe. Oh, actually, this is awesome. The 1960s version of Lord of the Flies directed by Peter Brooks. This is cinema at its finest. No, that's not treasure. That's, that is not treasure. If you guys want treasure, why don't you just say so? Why don't you look over there? We finally found the treasure, look. Oh man. Rodney, who the hell is this? Oh, that's my lawyer. I don't make financial decisions without him. 
Okay, well that doesn't matter because we're about to be richer than J.G. Wentworth. Yeah. Correction, my client will be richer than J.G. Wentworth due to the insufferable damage you caused. You left him on the side of a mountain. It's my treasure. <laughs>